being a nurse is such a perfect segue into being a legislator. You know, all those qualities that I learned as a nurse, all of those things are transferable to the legislature. I can't stress how important it is to have a member of our profession in the legislature, because what I found is that they always forget the nurses. And my motto is, I always remember the nurses. I was born in Oklahoma, one of five girls. My father was in the military. We traveled all the time and settled in Connecticut because that's where my mother's roots were. They met in Bermuda. She was on vacation. He was stationed there. He was based in Bermuda as one of the hurricane hunters. And because he developed polio, the Air Force said he could no longer fly a plane. My mother was one of the U.S. Cadet Corps nurses. They were recruited during World War II because most of the nurses were sent overseas. She was a nurse at Yale New Haven Hospital. She was there until she developed inflammatory breast cancer when she was 61 years old. And she remarkably said, someone has to survive. And she lived for 30 more years. I saw the good work that she did and aspired to be to do the same. I'm a product of both of my parents, my father being a volunteer, my mother being a nurse, and both being committed to their community. My mother understood the importance that I get a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing. And she said one of the best nurses that she knew had gone to Skidmore College. So I applied and I went, and it was the most outstanding education you could even imagine. We spent our first year at Saratoga Springs and our second and third years at New York City. We actually moved to New York City, East 38th Street. We did our clinical training at NYU talk about an eye-opening experience. I mean, this was in the 70s, back before there were cell phones, before we had, we didn't even have a map, they just sent us out. We were told at the time, and this is my philosophy, to walk with a sense of purpose. And that's how I've lived my life, is always walking with a sense of purpose. Went to work at Yale New Haven Hospital. I went to work in the surgical ICU, and that's where I met my husband. I started in August of 76, and he walked through the door in October of 76 as a third year resident. He was born in the Bronx, but raised in New Jersey, and he wanted to come back to New Jersey. So Eric and I got married, and I had a child right away. We moved to Summit October 7th, 1989. And then ultimately had five kids who went through the public schools here. So I became very active in the schools. And Eric, in the meantime, had been elected in the city council of Summit. And in 2001, was selected to fill a vacancy in the New Jersey legislature. So he was in the assembly, still practicing as a full-time trauma surgeon at University Hospital, level one trauma center. He took call, which means sleeping at the hospital. He goes to work Friday morning at 6 a.m. and comes home the next day in the afternoon. But, you know, I knew what I was marrying when I married him. I didn't know about the politics. It added another component, but it was an interesting component because we did so many fundraisers at this house that every month we'd have a fundraiser. It was a really active, fun house. And then, you know, on March 30th at 2 o'clock in the morning, he woke up and, and he said, something's wrong. And uh, something was wrong. He had ruptured his aorta died in the OR at University Hospital that afternoon at 520. You know, it certainly changed the lives of me and my children. It was a horrible thing, overwhelming, as you can imagine. We were a family. Eric and I had had a conversation. And he said, if something happens to me, you can run for my seat in the legislature. That's all that was said. I was one credit short of finishing my certificate of school nursing. And somebody said, are you gonna run for a seat? And it was the GOP chair in one of the towns and I said, well, if I have your support, and it was a husband and wife, and they said, you have our support at 100%. So I said, yes, he died on Monday, and by the following Monday, one week, I had to head the petitions in, and I won. Eric had said to me that healthcare delivery is impacted by policy. We got the Jessica Lunsford Act done because he started it and I finished it. I brought it to completion. But then I created my own legacy. I think my global legacy will be that I was always there for the nurses and also that I was always there for the children of New Jersey and making sure that they were protected and that they had an opportunity. Getting legislation through, making an impact on the lives of people. It goes along with what I've always done in my life, whether it's working in the surgical ICU, working as a healthcare risk manager. I often say to myself, Eric would be so proud of me. He would be so proud of me. He'd be so proud of all five of my kids. They're all successful. They're all happy. That's the most important thing. You know, I miss him and I think about him every day, but you know, I look back on my life and I've lived a long life, 
but I'm not done yet. I have a lot of energy.